Managing a WordPress site can be a challenge, especially if you're a beginner. Sometimes there are moments when you hit the wall and you don't know the next step. And therefore, in this video, I'm going to show you an experienced instructor who can provide clear and actionable advice whenever you're feeling lost. And the best part, the tool is free. The tool is called Google AI Studio, and it works in a way that you're going to share your screen. I'm going to select entire screen. Hi, do you see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen. It looks like you are on a website dashboard. Okay, it's WordPress and I need to update my site, but I was told that I need to make a backup beforehand. It was told that there is a backup plugin installed already, but I don't know which one. Can you see it from the sidebar or, or from the admin bar? Okay, I can see your WordPress dashboard. In the left sidebar, I see a plugin called WP Vivid Backup. Is that the one you're looking for? Maybe, I don't know. Do you see the menus? Okay. Yes, I see the menus. I can see the WP Vivid Backup menu with options such as Backup and Restore, Database Snapshots, Staging, Export and Import, Image Cleaner, and Settings. Okay, uh, there is a Backup Now button. Maybe this does the work. Yes, it looks like the Backup Now button is the one you would use to create a backup of your site. Okay. Uh, after backing up my site, how can I update the plugins and teams all together? After backing up your site, you can navigate to the dashboard in the left sidebar, and then go to the updates section. From there, you can update your plugins and themes. Okay, it seems that there are some updates. What should I do now? It looks like there are updates available for plugins on your WordPress site. You can select the plugins you want to update, and then click the Update Plugins button to update them. Okay, do you mean this button here? Yes. The Update Plugins button is the one you need to click to update the selected plugins. Okay, thanks. Now I was told that I need to add a WooCommerce tax for a country called Sweden. How do I do that? Okay, you need to add a WooCommerce tax for Sweden. To do that, you should navigate to the WooCommerce menu in the left sidebar and then select Settings. From there, you can go to the Tax tab and set up your tax rates for Sweden. Okay, I'm here, but how can I do that? There is nothing to do here. Okay, I see the tax options page. To add the tax for Sweden, you need to click on the standard rates link at the top of the page, next to where it says tax options. Yes, I did that. Okay, now in the new row, you can select Sweden from the country code drop down menu, then fill out the rest of the details for the Swedish tax rate. There is no drop down here. Ah, I see. The country code drop-down menu is not yet showing. You might need to click in that field first to activate the drop-down menu. I clicked here, nothing happens. Even if I type, there is nothing. Okay, it seems that the drop-down menu is not working. Try typing SE in the country code field. This should bring up Sweden as an option, and you can select it. Now what, where should I enter the text rate? Now you should enter the tax rate in the rate percent field. This is where you'll put the specific percentage for the Swedish tax. As you saw, it works like a charm. It sees everything on your screen and it works with every application. Not only with WordPress, it also works with everything it sees on your screen. I have tested it with Word and Microsoft Excel. I have also tested with a couple of different video editors. And best of yet, you don't have to know how to speak English because you can ask questions in your own language, but AI replies in English. So let's test it. I'm gonna refresh the stream, share your screen. Mul on siin WordPressi leht ees. Mul oleks vaja lehele lihtsalt üks pilt meediateeki lisada, kuidas ma seda teha saan. You'd like to add an image to your WordPress site's media library. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, you can navigate to the Media tab in the left-hand menu of your WordPress dashboard. From there, you should see an Add New option where you can upload your images. Would you like further guidance? Yeah, mida ma nüüd edasi pean tegema. Now you should see an area that says Drop Files to Upload or a button that says Select Files. You can either drag and drop an image file into that area, or you can click Select Files and choose a file from your computer. After selecting a file, it will upload into your media library. Is there anything oh, else? Kuhu ma nüüd vajutama pean? 
You can now press the Open button at the bottom right of the file selection window. That will upload the selected image to the media library. The image is uploaded now. If you need to use this image, you can copy the URL to the clipboard or edit the image by clicking the corresponding buttons. Is there anything else I can help with? No, thanks for now. And that's it. As you heard, I asked questions in my native language and it replied me in English. And this way, even if you're a beginner or you don't know how to set up or use any plugins, you can activate Google AI Studio and you're good to go. As I mentioned, currently it's free, so why not use it? Now, before you go. Wait, if you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up, this one here. And take a look at this side of the screen. It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.